Tyler Murata, Florida Keys, the sport fishing capital of the world. I'm here with Captain Jim Wilcox, a.k.a. Mr. Effervescent, and we're going deep into the backcountry waters behind Isla Murata. Stay tuned to see what we come up with. George Vuvaromo's world of saltwater fishing. Big fish don't stand a chance. The morning started very early behind Worldwide Sportsmen. Uh, Captain Jim Wilcox, I call him Captain Effervescent for obvious reasons, and you'll see it all play out within the show. My company's called UltimateKeysFishing.com, and I've been fishing out of Bud Mary's for 21 years. I was here as a teenager with my dad fishing at Bud Mary's, coincidentally. Then I came here with my kids for 10 years for the whole month of December before we moved here, which was 22 years ago. Uh, and I was attracted by the fishing. Island Rod is a place you either love it or you don't. If, you know, if you're here to fish, you're in the right spot. He said, we need to get a very early start. He's got a good snook hole out in the Isla Mirada, Florida Keys backcountry that we have to beat any other boat to. Our timing was perfect, except for one thing. Once we arrived and power pulled down on the spot, we look around and here are a dozen or so, at least a dozen feeding porpoise, just turn it up, not feeding on mullet, but rather prowling and feeding upon snook. Oh, there's porpoise blowing up 50, 100 yards away from us. And not one or two, but a large group of at least a dozen adults. Sometimes you'll see two parents trying to teach a little one what to do. That's not gonna tear up your fishing. But when there's 12 or 13, 14, 15 big adult porpoise all over the flat you're fishing, it's not a good thing. Jim Wilcox and I watched that and uh, we, we definitely had our opinions about what was happening because this was gonna be an ace spot of ours. Oh, oh Mike, he, he flipped that snook about three, four feet in the air and flipped them. Yeah, we're nice size snook, too. We're trying to shoot a show here, ladies and gentlemen, but the porpoise <laughs> have other things in mind. Fortunately, we had gotten to this point and we kept the porpoise at bay. Uh, it, at least, I don't know, maybe 150 feet, 200 feet away. And again, fortunately for us, we were starting to get some action on our soft plastic. So maybe things weren't all that lost. What's Look the at that. you? you Cast know what? over there. I like the way Come on, you. we need the double header, bro. Come on. Coming around you. Come on, George. I noticed how you- Come on. You finagled my- I can't even stop this You, you finagled my spot back Come here. On, I like yeah. that you're a very I'm smooth operator, you know? I don't know what this is, bro. This would be a big snooker, a big jack. Throw in behind me, bro. Go ahead. I am, I'm, I'm watching this. A, a big, big jack. jack. Okay. Big jack. Get it up behind Get you. Get it up. I'm, re I'm reclaiming about. my fishing spot. You still done? You're not done with that thing yeah, yet? Yeah, man. That's all I can handle. <laughs> when they get up that size and yeah, bigger, it's like that's a different incredible. fish, man. It's a it's a permit without his tuxedo on. That's all. <laughs> God, you give me a, a ample time to hook up, try to get a double. Almost, Jim. Are you going to stick your hand in the water and grab him by the tail for me? You want me to do that? <laughs> we'll pass on that. <laughs> they get getting a little more sporty in grab the size, it, aren't grab they? Grab yeah. yeah. There you go, Jimmy. Looking good, huh? Very good. There you go. Thank you. All right, that was good for me. Was that good for you? Yeah, it was good for me because I was watching that one. Yeah. Long, hard runs, a smashing bite, and they turn sideways, just like a permit. It's the, it's, a permit is the number one fish in my book out of the big five, bonefish, permit, snook, tarp, and redfish, okay? A Jack Laval is just a permit without his tuxedo on. He fights just as hard, and it's just a cool fish in my book. Huh. I don't think it's a Jack. Though. I don't think it is. The fight's different, and I'm catching every odd glimpse of it. It's looking more snook light, less that's like positive thinking. I'm not sure. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. I've been nervous. I'm getting nervous. There he is right here. It's a big old jack. Is it? Yeah. That's all right. That's it's a big a little, one. That's a big one. <laughs> he stretched out a lot of braid. Well, that's a big, that is a big one, bro. That that's an ocean going. All right. That's a pig, boys. That is a big one. You got it. That's all on you. <laughs> Woo, baby. Look at that. He pulled a lot of line. What a. There's nothing wrong with that fish, bro. No. Big Jack Ravel. 
All right. Don't hang around down there too long. No, there. no. So he's been around here. He's at here. There we go. Thank nice you. job, Georgie. Good one, Jim. Yeah. Absolutely good one. We persevered. We stayed there a while. And all of a sudden, we started catching them. Now, these porpoise were probably 50, 100 yards away from us, which is a good thing. But previously, on the same spot, I've watched them come right to the location, bump the tree, go right to the little sand hole behind the tree where they sit. I mean, these porpoise or dolphins know the flats better than we do. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. Mako, you'll find them where the fish are. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Mercury Marine, go boldly. George, we'll be right back. After getting schooled on how to catch snook by Mother Nature, we decided to head deeper into the Isla Mirada, Florida Keys backcountry in an attempt to turn our luck around. This time, Mother Nature let us do the catching. Snookeroo! Uh, well, trade places with you. Snookerooker! Snookeroo! First cast! Woohoohoo! You know, I always thought that, you know, you ought, you ought to get a little more animated when we fish. Ah, hashtag my job sucks. <laughs> Where are you going to take him? I, he's taking me. All right. Woo! Lucky. All right, I'm coming around here, babe. It's you again. Now he's bringing me the other way. I had to put a toll booth over here. Oh, Make man. some money off you. <laughs> now, check out. The, 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 how much it looks like more of a silver color here. Why is that? Because it's a sandy beach or what? Yeah, he's oh, probably came off a white bottom. Really sharky here, boys, so don't be sticking your hands in the water. Pliers, George, he's just got your Yes, sir. Feet. I'm going to get you right now. <clears throat> and there he goes. The bigger one here, triple that. jump. Yeah. I'm liking that, Jim. Oh, man. Whoa. I'm liking it. Whoa. What's the title of this show? We Don't Need No Stinking Bait? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, doing, like doing it with plastic. It's definitely a. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. How about the net? Yeah, I'll get the net for you on that one, Jimmy. Woo! We there we go, baby. I knew I'd get him on his knees eventually. <laughs> you did. Nice uh, fish came right that, out, baby. That, that lure. Thank you. You got it. Yep, you got it. He's just such healthy-looking fish, too. Yeah, man. Amazing. Jim Wilcox is a veteran back here, over 20 years of experience, charter fishing experience. And this is the third time that we've gotten together to shoot an episode. And I've got to tell you, when he steps on your boat, uh, he is just a total ball of unyielding energy, bordering on the cusp of craziness. How about a little chartreuse, man? Got any green? Come on, let's mix it up. You got one that looks like that cooler there? What is that? Is that a cooler? I got that this color. Huh? This color? What is that? Oh, that's an angle. Is that an organ donor? Thing? Yeah, it is. Yeah. In case we lose an organ out of there, get a kidney back to, to shore. I need a net, brother. The net sharks on him. Sharks oh, on him. Sharks, sharks on him. him. Break got him. He got him. Oh man. Get that. Hey, oh. Anyway, you can get him the other side for the I'm camera trying. for dramatic. We got to work for the camera now. Oh, look at that jump. Oh, that's right, good. Woo. Woo. So last time we did a show, Harry. I'm telling all kind of funky stories, and then at the end of the day, George tells me he got a cop running the boat all day long. <laughs> it's never a dull moment. I don't care if you get in a real bad lull of fishing where nothing is going on. This guy, you don't know where he's coming from, where he's gonna go off next. He's just a total entertainment, but he's a great guy, and he makes any kind of a long day out there, if one does exist, very, very short. With a great day in the Florida Keys backcountry behind us, with Jim Wilcox, a.k.a. Mr. Effervescent, our production team headed to one of Isla Mirada's most iconic dining establishments, Lazy Days. Grill, Lazy Hall, Opinion Grill, two loaded baked potatoes. Famous preparation, Lazy Days, a little bit of tomatoes. We're going to throw a little key lime butter on it. Chef Luis prepared a meal that we're still talking about today. It's called hook and cook. You know, people go out there to the reef, which is the alligator reef. They bring their fish, we'll cook it for them. We'll cook it different, uh, probably, we offer probably 60 different de preparations. If they're having a bad day, we do offer them. We have our own fishermen, okay? They come and drop our fish here at the dock, out here. And we offer them fresh fish as well. Everything from appetizers to the main course to even dessert is just totally remarkable. So in the Island Rod area, Make it a point to try out Lazy Days if you don't already know about it. And if you have a bountiful day, 
bring your fresh catch in, and if you don't, don't worry about that. Their menu will make sure you're more than well covered. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by Simrad, 75 years of innovation in marine electronics. Rapala holds the world record for world records. Suffix always use the best line. Starbright Boat Care Products, blending technology with performance since 1973. George, we'll be right back. On the morning of our second day, Jim Wilcox decides to navigate even farther west and through some treacherous environments to find redfish. We're basing out of Isla Mirada's Worldwide Sportsman in the Florida Keys. Well, the redfish in the snook both like structure, kind of like a freshwater bass, okay? So we're fishing around trees, we're fishing under trees, we're fishing around roots, we're fishing in shade, we're trying to figure out where they're hanging. Now, when we, switched, when we went to redfish, we switched the bait because it was getting windy, the water was real murky. But So now we're trying to catch them. Fish are a little easier to catch when they're when they're hunting with their nose as opposed to their eyes, especially bonefish and redfish. So even when they're sitting under a tree and we throw a lure in there, they hear that splash. But when they go to it, they got a little smell to help them. If they, you know, if it's cloudy, they're gonna go to the splash and then maybe they don't see the jig. But if you got a little smell there, that seals the deal. Bring them up to me. Nice. Golden redfish, baby. All right, Coming let's around. do this. Coming around. Coming around. There's a little too much drama, George. There we go, bro. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh, it's a little, it's a redfish, not like a 100 pound tarp. Can get up, give you a bigger net? There you go. Whee! Well, you did your redfish. There we go, baby. All right. So I took a third strike for that guy to bite. I saw that thing too. So again, the subtle ease in working it. You use a short hop. I'm, you throwing, got it in there. I'm throwing it in there. I'm letting it sit for about 10 seconds. Yeah. And then I'm just kind of crawling it out, bumping it out real slow. Gotcha. Let's get him back in the water. And there he goes. All right, well, there's one. There should be more, what do you think? Yes, sir. And now, what, what, exactly what pocket were you in? Oh, sorry, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Effervescent, Jim Wilcox, he's a proud man too. When he hooks a fish, every fish he hooks, he gets excited like it's the next all tackle world record snook or all tackle world record redfish. And he'll shout that till somebody in Key West could hear him. What you got, a redfish? Oh, yeah, it's no snook here, boys. Hey, oh, a nice red, even a pretty the, red. I got the neck coming for you. It's a red one. It's a red, red. It's a red, red, George. Holy freaking redfish. It's a, he said red, red. Is it a single red or double red? Red, a, red, what? It's a red, red. <laughs> sometimes they're silver, sometimes they're red. I hear this you. This guy's red. Oh, he's orange. It's an albino redfish. Don't mess this up, George. <laughs> Come on, I've never seen one with orange fins like this. I, I, it I looks like, like an orange roughy. I like to see this. Dude, look hey. at that. Get some stills of this fish, guys. Oh uh, yeah, in the boat, How sir. How about that? Uh, this is a gorgeous redfish. They're all, sometimes they're silver, sometimes they're golden. This guy is orange. I've never, look at the orange peck fins and the orange tail. It's one of my favorite fish out there, boys. Look at the blue on the top of this fin. There he goes. Woo! All right, Jim. Nice. It's another orange belly. He's in that tree. He's in that tree. We got to go forward. Oh, He's golf. out. He's out. He's out. This is a bigger fish. This all is a bigger right. fish. Woo, 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 woo. Hey, Jim, are you excited or what? Son, this is what we're here for. Yes, all right, let Rob get some. Oh, some. Rans, baby. They must be eating tangerines or something. Son of a gun. Just really check that thing us. out, huh? Look at that orange fish, Lou. I've never seen him that orange. I'm all lit up. Next show, uh -huh. boys, we're going to bring a net man. How about that? All right. All right, Jim, going in for the quick release here? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Beautiful fish. Thank you, George. There That's he goes. Get out of there. Watch the sharks, bro. I got gotcha. you. There he is. All right, Jimmy. Sometimes I got to do everything, fellas. Oh, no. Oh, Catfish, no. huh? Oh, I don't know. There's nothing on there. And he was bragging about how he had this great redfish on, and he's fighting and doing his thing. And I looked, and I thought I saw a catfish. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's got a cat. Nothing, nothing on there. I, I, I need to go He's to the stern. Yeah, I need to go to the stern. Mr. Big Shot. Oh, uh, yeah, there's not, <laughs> nothing on here. <laughs> Leave me alone, Rob. As far as accommodations in Isla Mirada, you have a ton of properties to choose from. For me, it's the Pines and Palms Isla Mirada Resort, old school Florida. As soon as you turn into the grounds, it's a remarkable property that takes you back to another time. Very well appointed in terms of foliage, palm trees, hibiscus, bougainvillea, and more. 
Plus, they even have white sand beaches if you choose to watch the Atlantic Ocean from the shore. Coming back in after a long day of fishing, and if you opt to cool down, there's a swimming pool also overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. And just steps away from the pool, you can enjoy an ice cold beer or frosty adult beverage at their tiki bar. Accommodations range from single units on up to oceanfront townhomes. They can accommodate single individuals on up to large families. If your boat is small enough, say 20 feet or less, there's a small ramp on site and complimentary dockage. Pines and Palms Resort in Isla Mirada, we've been coming to this place close to two decades now. It's my home away from home. In keeping with our backcountry theme, I met up with Samantha Zare with Keezy Charters. She took me out to Horseshoe Island to explain why EcoTours have become such a popular Florida Keys attraction, especially off Isla Mirada. We take people out and we bring them into the mangroves here and we show them the ecological aspect of the Florida Keys, the mangroves, the nursery they are for the birds, all the fish, all these people come here to catch all these fish. This is where it begins, in the roots of the mangroves. And we show them the manatees, the dolphins, and we tell them a lot about it and the biological aspects and the important roles that we have here in these trees and in the fish in keeping the ecosystem a whole. Why should somebody come down here and charter you for an eco tour? Because I'm the best, that's why. Couldn't have said it any better. George's Tackle Locker, brought to you by King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. When you're offshore, in the Bahamas, and even deep in the backcountry, cell phone communications can be non-existent. Now, the new Bivy Stick and app from ACR turns your cell phone into an advanced satellite communication device. Therefore, you can now remain in contact with shore-based family, friends, and your business from all off-the-grid locations, providing you have a clear shot to the sky. In addition to two-way text messaging, ACR's Bivy Stick provides users with a dedicated phone number and email. This allows for the most important people to reach you without you first reaching out to them. In addition, you can share your location and tracking information, receive detailed weather reports straight to your cell phone, consult offline maps, view waypoints, and in keeping with ACR specially, initiate an SOS signal. The Bivy Stick is sized like a cell phone and is roughly half the weight. Flexible, low cost, easy to understand airtime rates keep it affordable for virtually all boaters and anglers. Check out the Bivy Stick and how it can enhance your fishing and safety by going to the ACR website. George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing is proudly brought to you by the Florida Keys and Key West. Come as you are. ACR, the leader in marine safety electronics. Papa's Pilar Artesian Crafted Rum. Never a spectator. VMC, your expert in hooks. King Sailfish, the pioneer of catch and release mounts. Visit kingsailfish.com. We did catch three or four redfish that were orange. I've never seen them orange before. We catch them silver. They're kind of silver around Flamingo. When we go up the West Coast into these creeks, they're generally golden, which is really cool. They're completely different. But if you see, while we were fishing with George, we caught three or four that were orange and crazy looking orange fins. And then we caught one silver one. Uh, here we go, here we go. Look at this guy, he's silver. He must be from another clan. The Check silver that. clan. What do you think bites harder, pound for pound, redfish or snook? Oh, hard to tell, man. It, it, I think they're both just as good. I don't know. Yeah. So, right, good question. Woo, Bucky. Now, let me see if I can demonstrate how I get people to try and hold the fish. I tell them, use the jig as a handle. Yep. See that? Okay. Nice. It proved itself as a very good fishing ground if you know where to go, the right tide stages. You'll find action back here 360 days a year. Then the education aspect, looking at different islands. You come out here in the wintertime, see the different bird migrations that occur here. Uh, in our case, you're always gonna see a, a crocodile or two, and we certainly saw those coming up these little tiny creeks trying to find fishing areas. And of course, those are the watchdogs of those areas. And, it's just a whole unique setting from seeing those snook get ambushed early, the crocodiles, the, the flats, the maze of these little tiny backcountry creeks, and just the skill set that's involved of running 30 or so, 35 miles deep into the backcountry by Nala Mirada, and then turning it all around and making your way back home to uh, Worldwide Sportsman where we docked. It's 
Island Rod and the Florida Keys. You have arguably the best of both worlds here if you like your shallow water fishing and you also prefer your offshore fishing. A good blend here because you could do both and everything in between from reef to flats. This is the third show I've done with George in the past five years. It's always a good time. One of the mo things I look forward to the most is the crew that he brings with him. George has had the same guys with him for his whole life. It's a fun crew. We have a great time. We enjoy working together. Hope we do it again soon. If you want to keep track of our fishing adventures, we welcome you to follow us on our social media. I'm on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash george.poveromo. I'm on Instagram at George Poveromo. And you can see our shows in 4K broadcast quality on YouTube at my YouTube channel, which is George Poveromo TV. Jump aboard and ride along with us.